Hurricane Charlie, a small storm with at least a $20 billion punch, slammed into Punta Gorda, Florida on the afternoon of Friday the 13th in August 2004. On a scale from 1 to 5, Hurricane Charlie was a Category 4 storm on the Saffir Simpson scale, with maximum sustained winds of 145 miles per hour with gusts to 175. It was among the strongest hurricanes to hit the U.S. mainland. A group of experienced hurricane chasers was lucky enough to intercept and document the landfall of Hurricane Charlie as it tore across Punta Gorda, Florida. Among the hurricane chase team members, there was Christopher Calora, Doug Keesland, Jason Foster, Jeff Gammons, Jim Eds and Mark Rackley. The main task of the chase team was to document the landfall of a Category 4 hurricane in the safest manner possible, preferably from a reinforced building that protected the chase team and their vehicles but still allowed the storm to be documented and photographed in the safest manner possible. In this documentary, you will ride along with our chase team as we position ourselves directly in the storm's path, then the grim aftermath of destruction. Southwest Florida paid a heavy price for this hurricane. At least 25 people killed, and nearly $20 billion worth of damage was a result of this disaster. Hurricane Charlie was a rather small but intense storm, with an eye of only 5 miles in diameter at the time of landfall. However, winds of 145 miles per hour with higher gusts caused tornado-like destruction over a path that spread up to 40 miles inland, as far northeast as the city of Arcadia, Florida. So get ready to ride out the fury of Hurricane Charlie with the Hurricane Chase Team as they document, photograph, and measure the power of this landfalling monster. On the eye wall, the primary energy cell, which is the main convective chimney. That's okay, we are back at Okeechobee. We're stopped. We got finished chasing Bonnie, and we are uh, now turning our attentions towards Hurricane Charlie, which is hitting Cuba right now. It's supposed to intensify to at least a Cat 3, Cat 4 tomorrow. Uh, winds over 120, gusting higher. It's going to hit west of here in Tampa. So we're just prepping the vehicles and uh, getting ready to uh, see what happens with Hurricane Charlie. And that's going to be tomorrow, which is Friday the 13th, August 13th. It's about uh, 5.30, 6 o'clock right now here in Okeechobee on the 12th. This is my house here. I'm not sure if we're going to take some uh, brunt of some damage. But it's going to get pretty close. Okay. Okay, great. Thank you much. We're up in the Sarasota Bradenton area waiting for uh, getting ready for the intercept of uh, Hurricane Charlie tomorrow, probably about late afternoon. So we're getting ready to check into our hotel right now and get some sleep. Uh, we have the internet running. It's a Sprint wireless internet. That's what Jeff's got running up there. There's a hurricane coming towards us. A couple of locals here that we're uh, showing off some equipment on. Here's Jason with the video camera. Uh, you, you think you, you think you're getting and there's all my fun? setup. Oh yeah. Maybe it's book. Can event one? How many people will be staying here? Probably get off the Barrier Islands and the hotels. That's about high speed to stay off of this. I think the recons are finding stronger winds. They just haven't reported it yet because they don't want to cause panic. Either that, or I wonder if it's slowing. Oh, you, you, you. you got Uh, 
My God, look at all the crap in here. Yeah, there's a lot of crap. A hurricane chaser. Hurricane chaser, you gotta be prepared for it. And we are waiting to go through that. <coughs> We're up here somewhere. Hurricane Bonnie, uh, I'm sorry, Hurricane Charlie, coming into this area in about uh, six to eight hours, we should be getting the uh, core of the hurricane. Rain squall is already beginning to move into the area, there's a rain squall off throughout northeast right now from one of the spiral bands, and we're ready to go. We're doing final loading here. We are in South Venice on 41, heading to Port Charlotte. Port Charlotte is on the north side. Okay, the Charlie's just Fort been Myers. upgraded to a category four with 145 no. mile per hour sustained no, winds. Uh, and we are yeah, right in its we're path. We're headed here south through Venice. We're probably gonna be uh, intercepting okay. the storm near Port Charlotte. Right, and we're gonna hunker down, try to find a very sturdy building for the eye wall passage inland. Um, so, uh, bring in anything that could be picked up and thrown. We are uh, approaching Fort Myers right now when the eye is going to come in shore. And uh, it's going to move northeast across the lake, or and not across the lake, but just just west of the lake, and exit uh, out into the Atlantic, probably near Sebastian. Through Murdoch. Yeah, we're in Murdoch. We're in Murdoch. Are you on 75? Which is south of uh, Punta Gorda, near Port Charlotte, in um, it's northeast of Fort Myers. The eye should be coming through here in about another maybe hour and a half, two hours. Somewhere down there, eye wall is um, convective chimney, or eye wall is actually about maybe um, probably about 50 miles away. Very small system, so we're getting we're getting 30 mile an hour wind gusts. Pretty much, that's about it. Uh, wait for Jim Eds to come by here. Again, uh, starting to get some motion on the cloud deck there. So we're waiting here, waiting for uh, all hell to break. We're going to have to find a shelter to hunker down. Find now. shelter now. We yeah, know. We're going to be in some serious, serious uh, dilemma here if we don't find it. Sometimes it's something substantial, at least. All right, how you doing? What's up, honey? I also want to do an after the service, so we can at least stay here with any updates. Okay, and you were on 14740, uh, right? Yeah, whatever you gave me. Let's do a radio oh. check. Uh, okay, do a radio check. 14740. Yeah, 14740. Okay. Yeah. 14740. <laughs> you got that? Hey, got your radio on? Uh, do we have a, a, an FRS? Is it on? Right? This is rock. All right, cool. All right, we all got communication now. All right, we're right there with the ham. Is that a ham? Okay, this is where we're probably going to be spending uh, with the safest place you could be in 145 mile an hour winds, something like this. We're going to have a lot of debris flying around, but this should protect our vehicles and most likely protect us. We can always go in the corner there. Um, we're about uh, one hour until we start experiencing some really, really dynamic winds here. We're, we're staying put, right? Uh, we don't know yet. We're, well, we're, we're definitely going to come back here. But this is where we're going to put our vehicles during the storm. Pressure's beginning to fall. We just had 1,004 millibars down from 1,008 and about an hour ago, 1,012. And the weather station is going to record the passage of the eye wall. Uh, getting outer feeder bands, actually inner feeder bands. Eye wall should be coming pretty much from that direction. It's going to get very, very loud and it's going to get very, very bad here. Of all 
local home. There's the storm the headed County. towards us with its beautiful Hansen, double eye wall. Category four storm. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful eye wall there. Our location right now is, let me see, it is right on that little piece of land right Again, there. So, to go to the Turner Civic Center located that's what's going to be coming in shortly. Street. Chris, we're about to enter a Category 4 hurricane's northern eye wall. Eye wall should be coming up from the south-southwest. We're here in uh, Port Charlotte, is that where we're in? Uh, northern part of Punta Gorda, Florida. And uh, we're waiting for the real nasty stuff to come up, come aboard. You gotta watch out too, because there's some look, some sheet metal up there. Just keep that in mind. Yeah, that's so don't stand too far out here. It's moving. Yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna come down very very quickly. So uh, Hurricane Eye Wall is gonna be coming shortly into this area. Uh, we're protected. Back in here. So this will should protect us from most of the debris and all the other. Projectiles and stuff. Let's pick them up if we can and move them off somewhere. And um, patiently waiting. Patiently waiting for the uh, worst part of the hurricane to come in. To be another hour or half hour or so. We're in the northern fringe of the outer eye wall. This is a double eye wall system. We'll actually get a uh, strong wind through here. It should let up a little bit. That would be the space between the outer and inner eye wall. The inner eye wall will come aboard, gust to 175, maybe more. Sustain 145, that's when most of the damage this will occur. This is going to be an intense storm. So we're waiting and hoping and let God be with us all. Eye wall, outer eye wall coming in, outer eye wall coming in. In the fringes of the outer eye wall, storm's still long ways away. Three times, 150. 150. 150. So this is a super hurricane. 150. Not a Cat 5, but very close. Strong Category 4. 150 sustained. Here comes the eye wall. Eye wall coming in. There's the eye wall. Eye wall's right up the street. It's the eye wall coming in. Yeah, I know. Feel it. Feel pressure in your ears. Here comes the uh, tagging rain. It's the outer eye wall coming aboard. You hear a lot of crashing and banging. I hope he's all right. Keep in mind that there's that metal sheeting above us, too. Daytime landfall. Yep. Sorry, Terrain. We're yep. here. We're here, man. August 13th, Friday, August 13th, 2004. Hurricane Charlie's Eye Wall just entering the outer end.
got the R-Wall moving in. Winds gusting probably over 120, 130 miles an hour now. Listen to the roar. I don't know if this is coming out on video, but this thing sounds like a freight train. It sounds just like a train. Debris flying everywhere. We've got branches and old trees being wafted by this. Oh, my. Thank you. 
Oh, man. <laughs> What's going on? Huh? What's up? Nothing, why? Well, you guys like ran in here like something was going on. Checking the data. No, we were looking at data. Oh. Okay, close to the pressure center, would you? Go through. Wind shifted 180 degrees. Got knocked down by the wind going through the tunnel there. Wow. Got the second half of this thing. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wait here a little bit. It's the second half of the storm coming by. Can't stay in here. Got debris. Winds here are probably about 130 blowing through this power door. But it's a brief wind through here. I gotta stay as close as possible against the wall. Stay in the boundary layer. God. My God. Come on, baby. And. God help this place. God help everybody. It looked like the second half of the eye wall coming through. 
wind shifted northwest. That's what it was. Uh, I'm trying to stay up against the wall here. I got debris and all kinds of uh, water and everything flying through this uh, corridor here. The eye passed over briefly. Pressure in the center measured 943 millibars. Very low. Pressure should start going back up now. Winds out of the uh, northwest, opposed to southeast. Smallest eye I've ever seen, probably about less than eight miles wide. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to wait here a little bit. All right, I think we got the camera back, which is good. The camera had some major water damage. Well, water intrusion, actually. We're still here. Well, because of that building built to the new... Hurricane Codes, brand new building. That's a courthouse in Charlotte, the county justice building there. That building saved our lives because we were in a tunnel going through that building. Uh, we had winds well over 150 miles an hour about uh, a couple hours ago. Um, hurricane's currently moved to my northeast, about 100 miles or so by now. And we were in the eye of the storm. We had the lowest pressure recorded here of... Uh, 943 millibars. It's pretty low. Yeah, I like, I like the breeze. The camera's working now. Good. Yeah, yeah it must have been just the moisture. Yeah. So, Jim, what do you think? <laughs> There's Jim's car right here. This is what happens when you pour punches. Incredible. We're getting some feeder bands moving through here. I want to thank that building for saving my life, saving, keeping us all safe. But this is, um, I'm just glad this is over. This scared the living crap out of us. Uh, never been in the eye of such a storm. I was only about six miles wide, and we went right through the middle of it. It was so small that it didn't even give you a, uh, a wind sh it just gave you a wind shift. It didn't even give you a calm, really. This is a view up the street. The incredible amounts of damage here. Uh, a lot of roof damage. Uh, brick buildings are pretty much the only thing that fared well, and they still suffering roof damage. That was mad. That was mad, mad stuff. This is the uh, this, this is the hurricane uh, that got the radar. radar. This is the radar that Scott was telling us about. You have to go film this. This is going for Orlando. It's going for Orlando yeah. right now. Yeah. Right. I was hanging on the edge. Yeah. Oh, 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 Look at him in the legs, man.
anybody under there? This is uh, it was like a gas station canopy that collapsed here. This was a, a body shop and stuff like that. Catastrophic roof failure. Uh, the brute force of this winds from Charlie earlier. Yep. Okay. This guy's hung up on something here. He's got a, a looks like a power line or something that he's hung up on there. Building so near that. I'm sure that that was, uh, that courthouse is a perfect example of how you shoot. What happened? Got an alibi. done quickly. Yep. You know, you got, you get, you get your tires, man. I mean, it's just how it is, you know. Yeah, it's a tire issue. Oh. near the intersection of uh, 75 uh, and I believe it's Olympia, East Olympia. Yeah, this is probably the last video we're going to film with this. It's getting dark. It's probably going to be a curfew and all that stuff. But this is one of the forests that were uh, in the area. It's very reminiscent of Hurricane Andrew where you can see the horizon through where the trees were. My console, I'm in business. Southwest Florida traffic net looking for additional check-ins. Call signs, please. 